Hi guys, I know I only made a video yesterday, but I wanted to make another one because it was my first, the start of my lessons today, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it because I got loads of information that I want to make a video now before I get more information that I want to talk to you about. Um, so I'm going to talk about my first two modules that I've been learning today, and we start another one on Friday. Um, so the first lesson we had is health and illness across the lifespan. Um, and basically it was just an introduction to the modules and what we were supposed to do is listen to our lectures on WebEx um, but it's it, like because we're first years it's just not working and it's not letting us in so there's been problems on that so it was an introduction um, we talked about um, accountability and confidentiality and then split into groups and had two scenarios on each two, two on accountability, two on confidentiality and we had to discuss those and, and what we'd do in each scenario. So that was really good and nice teamwork as well. And uh, that will also be the teams that we're in for our next assignment. So it was a nice way to get to know each other more as well, um, which was great. And we've been learning. We have to know pretty much the NMC, which is Nursing and Midwifery Council Code of Conduct off by heart. So we got given this today, the NMC um, Guide of on professional conduct for nursing and midwifery students. So it's only small, which is good. It's not the whole conduct, um, but that'll be some fun nighttime reading. So I'll be doing that as well. Um, and we also got our module plans, which are here. I'm just going to hide the name of my university. Um, but they're the module plans. That's what they look like. Um, so it's got the faculty, the name of the it's like pre-registration nursing, module plan, um, health and illness across the lifespan, and the name and the level of it, and some contact details of the leader. And I'll just quickly show you what they are inside. Um, so you've got here you've got the module aims um, and the learning outcome, um, which is good. And we have more of these on our um, Blackboard as well, which is like our online university program. And then here we've got all the lectures that we have. So this week we were supposed to do introduction to the module, the code of professional conduct, what is nursing, um, look at the assignment briefs, which is what we've been doing today, and application of the code of conduct. So it gets kind of more fun. Like next week we're doing definition of health and illness, what does health mean to you, um, determinants of ill health, acute and chronic illness, um, student to get into groups and have presentations um, in a we have we have to do a presentation in a few weeks um, so that's a bit funner than learning about the NMC but it's important you know we need to learn it and um, so that's what that page is and, and then here we have our assignment so we have um, this is a formative assignment so it doesn't count towards our final grade like at the end of our degree which is a bit more relaxed and a bit good, like much better, but obviously we still have to do well. That gets graded um, in a percentage, and this is a poster of what we have to do and um, to be in by November. And we'll get like a topic, like um, it'll be on sort of um, childhood obesity or something like that, which we'll have to present a poster in in our little groups. Um, so that'll be quite a fun task, I think, and it'll be quite good for us. Um, and then the next one is not due until January, but that's an actual 2,000 word essay um, on uh, the different concepts of health and illness across the lifespan um, relating to child, adult, mental health, whatever field you're doing. Um, so that's our few assignments that we have to do. And then it has on the back it has like the dates that it's due and when and by what time all our assignments have to be in by 2 p.m. on that day that they're due um, and then on the back it's a big reading list so you can't really see that very well um, but I'm going to have to go to the library next week and have a look at that reading list um, and just look through some of the books and see which ones I need to buy um, and we got the same thing for um, the next lesson we did was independent learning for nursing so we got the same thing I'm not going to take you through that again because it's the same um, but we also got um, hiding the logo again um, an assignment brief so this is our assignment 
Um, we have a formative assessment, so again, the ones that don't go towards our final grade, and the summative assessments, which do. Um, so we basically have to do an assessment on Blackboard or our online thing, and um, something uh, PDP, so uh, personal development personal development plan, which is our goals and when we need to set them by and short term, medium term and long term goals and things like that. And then um, it's our essay, uh, 1500 words, which is fine on um, a reflective piece of writing. It's a reflective piece of writing. So that won't be until we're in placement and that's not due until um, March. So that's okay. Um, and then we get like information about where to get all the information from and like the WebEx and and some good links to places and things like that, like websites and stuff to give us the information. And um, the other thing they told us is they have a system where they can check how much of it is offline and how much of it's our real work. So we have to like reference everything and not have too much of the internet and quotes and things like that. So. Um, that's another thing that they told us, and we we're allowed to go 10% under or over the word count. So if if the words like that essay is 1,500 words, so we can go up to uh, 1,650, or we can go to 1,350. Um, but they say to try and get it as close as to 1,500 as you can, and and it's better to go over than under because um, you need the right information. And that's basically what I've been doing today, and I'll update you again Friday. I have my practicals Friday, um, which will be fun, and uh, meeting my new tutors, which I haven't met yet. One of the things I wanted to show you today, which is what I mentioned in my last video about the Oxford Dictionary of Nursing. There it is. It's a pretty thick book, but it's amazing. I recommend that to, to anyone doing nursing um, to get, and it just has like so much words in it, like words that I can't even pronounce. Um, so that would be really helpful to you. And yeah, that's it really. Thanks for watching.